up everybody? My name is Jack Wynn. Welcome back to the channel. This is day one of the Penn's Oil 400 weekend. We are back at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Today is the Victoria Voice Foundation 200 for the new Craftsman Truck Series. It's no longer the Gander Outdoors or Camping World Truck Series. It is now the Craftsman Truck Series. It's race two for the Truck Series season today. Turning with Kyle Busch is on pole for today's race in the new Seve Silverado for uh, for KBM as Kyle Busch is now racing Chevys instead of Toyotas. Um, we've got tickets for the Earnhardt Terrace. We're probably not going to sit in the Earnhardt Terrace. We're probably going to sit in where I usually sit. Melissa is back for her second race here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Another truck race as she came with me last year to the very same race. Um, there's a lot of new things that has transpired over the off season. Um, but first things first, breaking news coming out of the Cup Series garage and out of Hendrick Motorsports. Chase Elliott will not be racing in the number nine Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet this weekend as it will be filled in by Josh Berry as Chase Elliott suffered a leg injury in a snow, uh, snow sporting accident. Uh, skiing or snowboarding is one or the other, but they will, uh, Chase Elliott will not be in for the race, so Josh Berry will be filling in for the nine, which kind of sucks. So we're gonna go get in, we're gonna get our tickets scanned, and we'll see you once we get past the gate. All right, so on my GoPro, I cannot zoom in uh, when recording. So while I was editing this video and in this segment here, you can see I had to crop out the footage and zoom in on the footage so you guys would be able to see what I was referring to and what I was talking about. The only downside is it lowers the quality. So I really apologize for that. Um, for the Xfinity race on Saturday, I will be using both my phone and the GoPro to record uh, with my phone being used for on-track action so you guys can actually see what is happening on the racetrack and what I am talking about. Trucks lining up here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. You can see the field lining up. Trucks getting pushed out to the grid. As you can see, Kyle Bush out in the front row with the number two red racing Chevrolet of Nick Sanchez, followed by Chase Purdy, and then the 98 of Kyle Majeski, then Haley Deegan in the 13. She's been looking solid this weekend. We'll see if Haley Deegan can get some luck to go her way. She usually runs well here in Vegas, so we'll see. All right, so we are in position for right now. Um, obviously, still waiting on truck races to start. Pre-race ceremonies haven't even begun yet. Um, but we're in our normal area for right now. Um, people that usually sit behind us aren't here yet, which I'm kind of, I'm a little bit surprised at, but it's all right. Um, hopefully I don't get copyrighted with this music. <laughs> Um, but it's really fun. It's really cool. Um, I've been coming here since 2011 and it's been, it's been really cool, uh, to come here every weekend. Um, it's, it's been fun. Um, so I'm glad now that I get to bring Melissa along to these things, uh, and get her involved with the sport, um, get her to understand it. Um, and it'll be it's definitely fun in that. So we'll see how it goes and we'll uh, bring updates as it goes on. But the only other news um, so far, other than Kyle Busch being on pole, Chase Elliott being out for Sunday's race with Josh Berry filling in, uh, Chandler Smith just claimed the pole for the Xfinity race tomorrow uh, in the number 16 car for uh, Colleague Racing. Uh, so Chandler Smith is on the front row. Uh, we got in and we were in line as uh, qualifying was finishing up. And we heard that Chandler Smith got pole. So Chandler Smith is on pole uh, for Colleague Racing. So I'll be here tomorrow for that. Um, I've got my, my 
garage pass. If I can get it out. V stupid Velcro pockets. But garage pass for the weekend. Um, so I'll be in the garage area uh, tomorrow. Uh, pretty much all day as cup practice uh, and qualifying will be on tomorrow. Um, and then I'll make my way up to the grandstands tomorrow uh, for the race and be up here for that. And then Sunday, I'll try and get down for pre-race. Can't make any promises on that. So if I can get down there for pre-race, you guys will obviously be along for that. Uh, but other than that, Sunday, I'll probably be up here. Um, but it's, it's definitely cool to be a part of live history right now as NASCAR is celebrating their 75th anniversary. Um, and being at the race weekends this year, being at a race this year during this anniversary uh, season is really cool. Um, and history will be made uh, this weekend. Um, so you guys are going to be along for it. It's a, it's a very special weekend. Alrighty, so we have just finished pre-race ceremonies. Melissa over here stole my hat. But they just finished the pre-race ceremony with the national anthem. We're just now waiting for the um, command of fire engines. And then we'll go truck racing here at Vegas. Alrighty. They just got the one to go to go green. They are currently in turns three and four right now. This is going to be a really interesting start with Nick Sanchez and Kyle Busch on the front row with Kyle Busch being on pole. Pace lights are off. Everybody's getting on their feet. It is a good, good day. Good night. Six o'clock. Green flag is in the air. Let's go cross over the place, boys. Uh, Daniel Dye in the 43 spun off of turn three and four, but no caution. Um, 34 if, uh, it's not Josh Rio, is it? No. Can't remember who was in the 34 for tonight. Um, 
but he's out of the race already with mechanical problems. Uh, the 52 is Stuart Friesen did a pass through or a penalty. I'm not sure what the penalty was. Um, but that's been so far the only incidents uh, to speak of at this moment. Uh, but Stuart Friesen will get the free pass because he was the first car one lap down. So he's lucky for that. Uh, so Stuart Friesen will be back in this race. Um, Chastain went to the back of the field at the start of the race. He's moved up his way up. Haley Deegan started fifth, dropped back to 15. Uh, so he's lost five spots already. Uh, but other than that, just a little race update. And uh, we'll see what happens with pit stops. Almost got turned 
by the 99 have been roads, but they saved it, gathered it back up off of turn number four. Well, what a way to end the stage. That was incredible racing. But Zane Smith, ladies and gentlemen, is your winner of stage number one. Stage two coming up next after pit stops. And then, of course, a stage three. Kyle Busch, however, had some pit road problems, had a loose wheel, uh, and went down a lap before they went back to green. Uh, some problems early for Kyle Busch in the number 51 Silverado. That is weird to say. Kyle Busch and his Chevy, Chevy Silverado. But problems for the 51 truck uh, for Kyle Busch. He'll be back. I'm not worried about it, which is weird to say that I'm not worried about it for Kyle Busch. But to be fair, I have gained a lot of respect for Kyle Busch over the last couple of years. He's definitely mellowed out. And the, the whole situation that he experienced with Joe Gibbs last year was kind of crappy. Um, so I'm glad he's getting an opportunity with RCR uh, in the eight. Glad to see him win last week. Uh, but problems early. Zane Smith, your winner. Pitch stops are coming up next.
that make it easy? Right, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> you just like seeing yourself or what? <laughs> yeah. Helps it helps me see myself clearly. Yeah. <laughs> but Carson Hosovar was giving Kyle Bush a run for his money, did not make it easy for him. So Carson Hosovar still holds the lead. Kyle Bush is now still in second, uh, but it was a 0 4 of Caden Honeycutt that went around off of four. Uh, so we are under caution yet again. But it's been a good race so far, as you can see. All right, well, stage two ended under caution because the 17 of John Hunter Nemechek tried to clear himself in front of Haley Deegan and uh, heavy damage to the 17. Haley Deegan is out of the race with heavy damage. Ross Chastain was also involved in the accident. But stage two will end with Carson Hosovar winning stage two with Ben Rhodes second, Matt De Benedetto third in the 25 car for uh, Rackley Racing. Then the uh, four of Chase Purdy will be fifth, then the 23 of Grant Enfinger will be the top five. Um, but it's been a wreck fest. We were like pretty much the entirety of stage two was under caution because they were just wrecks after wrecks after wrecks. The 04 spun off of turn four earlier and then Wallace Allen got loose underneath um, another truck and spun. Uh, the O2 spun and backed it into the wall and is done for the day. Um, and it was just like Rex after Rex after Rex. So now, final stage to get to 134 laps to complete this race. First two stages were 30 laps apiece. Final stage is gonna go from lap 60 to 134. We have pit stops. So, sucks the stage two had to end under caution. I was going for Haley Deegan because she, was, she usually does really well here in Vegas, but again, bad luck strikes for Deegan. So, end of the night for her, it sucks. Uh, but Kyle Busch is actually back in this race uh, to an extent. Uh, was actually falling back a bit at the start of stage two. Start of stage two in the lead. Fell back to fifth on one of the restarts. And was just dropping back, so I'm not sure what's going on with the 51 of Bush, but he's on the lead lap still. He's in contention. Uh, if they can get that truck figured out and get back up front, uh, then we could see Kyle Busch contending for the win. But as it stands right now, the Nice Motorsports truck of Carson Hosovar is doing really well. And then the Thor Sport trucks of Eke, of not Ekes, Majeski, Ben Rhodes have been doing really well. Christian Eckes has done really well tonight. Uh, Chase Purdy has ran really well uh, in the four truck. So a lot of contenders up front. Race is not over yet. We've still got a bunch of laps. We'll see who wins this race. Can we get more than like three laps of green?
atmosphere. Victoria's Voice uh, Foundation 200 here at Las Vegas. Kyle Busch, your winner for KBM in the number 51 Chevy Silverado. Uh, but Kyle Busch, again, dominant fashion, wins at Vegas, no surprise there. Um, but it's still very, it, it was weird hearing a lot of cheers for Kyle Busch. It was very weird. You know, I've been coming to the races here in Vegas since 2011, since I was five. And the, the one common thing was booing Kyle Busch because he was very hated. He was very hated in, in the, by the fan base. And just seeing the transition this year for Kyle Busch, you heard it last weekend at Auto Club, the amount of cheers for Kyle when he won uh, when he won the cup race was just insane and it's today this week he's doing all three races he's running the he's he ran the truck race obviously tomorrow he's running the 10 for colleague racing uh, and then obviously he's in the eight uh, with rcr so it's going to be interesting to see um how those races go i have a pretty strong feeling that uh kfb could sweep the races this weekend here at Vegas. It's a very good possibility for Kyle Busch. Um, but tomorrow is gonna be interesting. Josh Berry pulling double duty tomorrow uh, with the Xfinity race, as well as practice and qualifying for the cup car as he's taking over Chase Elliott's ride uh, after Chase suffered a leg injury in a snowboarding accident. Um, and another story that was happening, apparently there were, there were travel delays from North Carolina where a lot of these teams are based to here. And there was, I saw a thing uh, from NASCAR on Fox that teams were literally arriving and running in the garage area mid-race. Like some of the members from the truck teams and that are d working for all three series, they were running into the truck haulers while the truck race was still going on. Um, and there have been um, some reports of some of the haulers being stuck in some weather uh, from California, uh, from what I've been able to understand and get from. So it's 
it's interesting. Um, hopefully, everything goes to plan and gets here. Um, but you never know. Um, you know, it's things can happen. Obviously, um, I was in California last week, and it was it was bad. We got stuck for a while, and we got uh, rerouted uh, because um, one of the mountain passes was closed due to snow. So, I, it, it, it is possible, but we're, we were able to get through and get to where we were going. We were going to the Shark Team last week uh, for Marlowe's retirement jersey ceremony, but I can see how teams could get stuck, and it could take a while because there were trucks stopped that were there for hours before. So, Hopefully they get here in time if that is actually what is going on with the haulers. I know team and uh, teams and team members are dealing with travel issues, um, but it should be all right. Um, but uh, before I end this, I do want to say we do have a partnership with Doobie Energy. Uh, use promo code QUINN77 at checkout uh, to receive 10% off, 10% off your online order. Um, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We're going to go and get warm because my hands are cold. She's complaining about being cold the entire race. Thirsty. And thirsty. <laughs> so we're going to go, we're going to go eat, we're going to get warm because it's, it's cold. For Vegas, this is cold. Okay, it's too cold. Um, but anyways, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload again. And as always, I will see you guys in the very next episode. Peace.